Hi, my name is Richard Isaacson. I'm director of the Alzheimer's Prevention Clinic at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York Presbyterian. Today, we're gonna to be talking about endpoints in Alzheimer's disease clinical trials. Let's talk about the CDR or clinical dementia rating scale, sum of boxes as a domain or scale that's impactful as an outcome in Alzheimer's disease clinical trials. The CDR sum of boxes is a clinician reported, meaning something that a clinician like me will interview a patient and then report the assessment of a person's cognition and function via a very semi-structured clinical interview. We're also not just going to interview the patient, but we're also going to interview the informant, for example, a caregiver, a family member, or a close friend. Uh, in terms of clinical trials and also in clinical practice, one needs to be trained on how to administer um, and also score the CDR, the Clinical Dementia Rating Scale. And each of the individual domains, you have to add up cumulatively to come to what we call the sum of the boxes or the summative scores of all the different domains that we assess. So in this structured interview, we have to assess different domains, memory, orientation, judgment and problem solving, home and hobbies, as well as personal care. And we take these individual areas and we ask very specific kind of, kind of a framework of questions and we tailor it uh, individually, uh, depending on if we're talking to the patient or the caregiver or a loved one. Each of the cognitive domains are assessed for degree of impairment by one of five items. And the five items include zero, which would denote no impairment, the person is normal, normal function, normal cognition. Questionable would be 0.5, so that's a half a point, and that may be somewhere along the lines of maybe an early mild cognitive impairment, early uh, signs and symptoms, but maybe not uh, progressing to the degree of uh, dementia. Um, one would denote mild, two would denote moderate, and three would denote severe in terms of how the person is doing in terms of that domain and to imply whether or not they have a mild, moderate, or severe uh, frame of dementia. The sum of boxes is the sum of the ratings for each of the domains. So thus, the maximum score for each of the domains is 18, because the maximum score is three for each category. Six domains, three times six is 18 points. The proposed meaningful change threshold in terms of does the outcome change to a degree where the drug or treatment actually move the needle in a meaningful way, MCI would be changing by one point. Mild Alzheimer's disease would be changing by two points and moderate to severe Alzheimer's would be a change in three points when comparing the drug intervention group to the placebo or the control group. So we'll talk about some insights of using the CDR sum of boxes in clinical practice. And the advantages are that we can use the scale across the disease spectrum. I think some, of, some assessments are tricky because they're really scaled or used for people in the more moderate to severe stages of Alzheimer's, but they don't really work or are valid in people with minimal um, or no cognitive complaints. However, the CDR sum of boxes is um, unique in, in a sense because it can really work across uh, the uh, entire disease spectrum. That being said, there are several limitations to using the CDR sum of box. One is it takes a lot of time. The length of the assessment may not be practical uh, for real world clinical practice. Uh, the dependency on accuracy and consistent availability of the patient's informant is something that's critical because you can't just trust what the patient is saying. If they have cognitive impairment, we need to rely on, on someone else that knows the patient well. Uh, we can also uh, oftentimes maybe risk disease stage misclassification, uh, especially along the moderate and severe stages of Alzheimer's. And it's really unlikely that we can use this scale uh, to be used as a continuous measure for each cognitive domains and as, as other clinical trial measures can sometimes be used. So I think overall, um, we can certainly use a CDR sum of box score practically in clinical trials, but they may not be as practical to use on a visit-to-visit -visit basis in real-world clinical practice.